Blessings to everyone who is listening and watching me right about now. I have a powerful and amazing word just for you. Brothers and sisters, this is a word that is going to actually energize you. This is a word that is going to actually give you hope. Some of you, you have lost hope. Others, you have lost strength. Some of you, you are about to give up. You are about to give up on these things. But I want to encourage you that God will give you strength. Wait upon the Lord and he will give you strength. He will renew you. No matter how intensifying, how big that battle is, how strong that enemy is, God will deal with your enemy. No matter how high that mountain is, God is going to remove that mountain. Trust in God. For God will fight for you your battles. The Bible says it clear. In him we move, live, and have our being. So it is in God that you are going to move away from your enemies. You are going to move above your enemies. It is in God. God is going to give you life. And some of you, God has already given you life. Some of you who don't have peace, God is going to give you that peace. Brothers and sisters, I have a word for you. Now, before I begin this word, I would like to welcome those that are new to this powerful channel. If you are new to this channel, you are watching me for the very first time, or you have taken long without watching and seeing these videos, I welcome you once again to this amazing channel. One thing I want you to do is to subscribe, turn on all the notifications so that you may be able to receive future videos remember that every week i have live streams where i am praying for you where i am declaring and decreeing things over your life some of you all you need to do is to have someone pray for you the bible says it clear that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much so it is important that you go into serious prayer and not, not only just prayer but prayer and fasting. Jesus said this to his disciples, that this thing, this kind, can only go by prayer and fasting. So some of you, there's something that has been in your life that can only go through prayer and fasting. Brothers and sisters, today's powerful word actually is, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. So, before you despise yourself, before you believe in the lies of your enemies, I want you to first meditate upon these words that I'm about to speak. I want you to first look at the words that Jesus and God spoke about your life. Brothers and sisters, today's scripture is from the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 1 to around 17, to around 17. Let us read this Bible and see what the Bible has to say about you. The Bible says, O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my raising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You have hedged me behind and before, and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain it. Where can I go? from your spirit oh where can i flee from your presence if i ascend into heaven you are there if i make my bed in hell behold you are there if i take the wings of the morning and dwell in the outermost parts of the sea even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me if I say, surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light 
about me. Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. You formed me in my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrote in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed and in your book they all were written. The days fashioned for me when as yet there were none of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O Lord God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. The Bible says, how precious are the thoughts of God towards you. They are so precious. His thoughts towards you are precious. That if you could even count them, they would be more in number than the sand. God's thoughts towards you are marvelous. They are precious. Now, I, I, I love the Bible. The word says that you, you, my brothers and sisters, are fearfully and wonderfully made. When the enemy looks at you, he trembles because he sees God in you. Remember, you were created, you were made in God's image and likeness. You look like God. So when he sees you, it's like he's seeing God because Jesus lives in you. Brothers and sisters, even your soul knows very well. I want you to trust in God that no matter what people have said about you, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. No matter what, how many enemies have, you have encountered, no matter how many things are striking you right now, have this hope that God is with you. That even when you try to hide yourself, God will still find you. He still sees you. He still knows you're going in and coming out. He still understands even before you speak a word. He knows what you're about to say. This is the God that we serve. This is a loving God. He is love. Brothers and sisters, God loves you so much. God wants you to prosper. God knows exactly who you are. And I want you to keep on praying. I want you to keep on believing in the power of God. Until next time, God bless you. Shalom.